My story is not all that unlike others. I am a male, and I was scanned by a woman. This woman was posing as an army sergeant, who was to come home soon. She sent pictures of her young and beautiful self. I found myself naturally attracted to this woman. I had been through a recent breakup and was recovering from it. This relationship had lasted 15 years. At this time, I would describe myself as vulnerable and never that lucky in love. I was being treated for depression, taking meds, and going to group therapy weekly. However, I was successfully employed for over 20 years, a homeowner with some savings and retirement and everything I owned was paid for. So when this luscious, sweet-talking, affectionate woman proposes to me, I guess I went into some sort of zone. I sent a care package just cause I liked her. She didn't even have to ask for it. After that, she told me she had an inheritance of $6 million in gold and diamonds put away in a security company called VAS-24. She said she had spent all her money hanging on to it and making payments to the security company. She now needed help getting a chip to the States for when she joined me for our happy future together. She presented a certificate that looked official to me. I looked up the security company online, and they did actually exist. Before they could be shipped, the gold and diamonds had to be switched over to my name. So I wired $1,250 to have it put into a joint name. She then presented me with a certificate of joint ownership of $6 million in gold and diamonds. I was then informed that it was going to cost $27,000 to have these goods shipped to my front door steps. She tells me, Honey, just cash a couple gold bars and pay your debt. So, full-heartedly, I go to the bank, make a lien against my truck and boat for $27,000, and wired her the money. I received notice that the gold and diamonds were on the way. About a week later, I get a notice that Customs had held up the shipment in New York City for additional fees. She told me that I now needed $111,000 for the shipment to finally make it to my front door. At this point, I am beside myself. She acts as if she is too, although still declaring her deep love and affection for me. She says she will talk to her army commander and ask him if he can help. Her and her army commander's plan, after talking to a banker friend of theirs, was to have me run around buying iPhones and MacBook Pros, charging them to credit cards, five of which, after I gave over my identity, her commander's friend had created. After buying the electronics, I was to ship them overseas where they would be sold. The proceeds of these sales would be going back on my credit cards and to wire money to get this shipment to me. After all this, my love and my money would then come home and all debts would be paid. It wasn't until after my last wire was sent out that I realized I had been scammed. I was now $150,000 in debt, most of which was credit card debt with insanely high interest rates. So far, in the two weeks since I woke up from this delusion, I have filed reports with the FBI, FTC, and local law enforcement. I have joined a legal support membership and now have an appointment with an attorney. I cut off and blocked contact with the scammers. I have cried every day. I feel I can't tell my family, as they will only add to my shame. Some days it is very hard to focus. The recommendation I have been getting is to declare bankruptcy. I live in Texas, and from what I can tell, unless the credit card companies come at me real, real hard, I can keep my homestead or home and most of my things. But I will have to make $682 in monthly payments for lien at my bank. No new credit for 10 years. And if I get real lucky, the credit card debt will be discharged if I file bankruptcy. Not sure on any of this, but from reading and talking to people, this is what I gather. It would be very difficult, especially since I only make about $40,000 a year. To put it bluntly, I am hanging on by a thread. I've been ridden up several times at work. And given a final warning, if I am rude, aggressive, or insulting one more time, I'm fired. So, I go to my group therapy weekly.
take my meds and attend church. I pray and write letters to God. I try to hope for some sort of happy future without so much suffering and isolation. Hope is not easy to have in the midst of all this. Most days I go around with a big knot in my stomach until I can cry it all out. Then I feel better for a while until the fear, anger and shame returns. This cycle repeats. I am told it's part of my healing. I'm anxious about seeing the attorney next week and hope his solutions are workable. If you're a praying person and watching this video, I ask that you stop for 30 seconds and ask God to send me some relief and help for as long as I need it to get through this horrible ordeal. God bless. I hope this helps somebody. Thank you very much.